Hi, my name is Rob and I help manage digital content for the Endangered Archives program at the British Library. There are a variety of reasons why digital content can be difficult to preserve. One of the most obvious is that digital technologies become obsolete relatively quickly. Technological obsolescence is one consequence of the current speed of technological change and it is showing no sign of slowing down. Since the late 1980s, options for digital storage have changed a lot. We have moved from the era of floppy disks through optical media like CDs and DVDs to SD cards and USB devices available nowadays, including memory sticks and external hard drives. These can hold absolutely massive amounts of digital content. If we also consider the use of third-party or cloud storage systems, another level of complexity is added when we think about the long-term accessibility of digital files. This has an impact on hardware, operating systems, software, file formats, storage and access methods. For example, Word documents saved on floppy disks in the 1980s are very difficult to access today, not only because our computers no longer have the correct readers, but the magnetic strips within the floppy disks themselves may have degraded. Another obstacle is that the original word processing software may no longer be available, and so the text file on the floppy disk can't be opened in the way it was originally intended. Digital content will typically be stored somewhere as a byte stream, but we very rarely encounter them in that form. Instead, content will typically be rendered by specific software running within a particular operating environment. To give you an example, if you use a Canon camera in your digitization project, you may be capturing Canon RAW files. Depending on the age of the camera model, it may create CR2 or CR3 files. This difference may cause issues if you are using old imaging processing software that cannot support CR3 files. Some of those concerns can be addressed by the consistent use of documented or standard file formats. But it is still likely that to fully understand a piece of digital content, you may need to access it via multiple programs and in many formats. A good understanding of these obstacles can help you make decisions about your own digital preservation strategies. Considering the formats you are working with, the software you are using, and the storage solutions you adopt will help preserve your collections long into the future. This tutorial is part of our online video series covering digitization, digital preservation, and conservation for the Endangered Archives program. Please feel free to explore these resources at eap.bl.uk forward slash training dash videos.